you will <laughs> keep you balanced then the chair would and you as well remember <laughs> because you are coming with your great big force oh i would thinking like oh the chair will exert a different and opposite an equal but opposite force against me to keep me sitting down but then the mm -hmm. chair collapses <laughs> And you got out with it, don't you? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, yeah. so it's called um, for every. What, what, the way you say it is for every action, there is an equal but opposite okay. reaction. Is it reaction. Yeah, and that co then causes you know things. For example, if you're sitting on a chair to balance, if things say if two things are moving towards each other. Like if you had two toy cards, yeah, and you went splatter, crush them against each other, you can feel both. Can you can you crush those things against each other? Tell me whether you feel equal or different forces in your hands. Okay. Don't drop them. Keep them in your hands. Oh. Yeah. 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 Of course. Yeah. So, you know, even as you are crushing something against something, that thing is crushing that force against you. Because it's pushing back at you as well. Yeah, that force is actually pretty strong. Yeah. So, the, what, what we're going to do with the feather was to, you know, talk about resistance and gravity. So, we'll do that, yeah, in the future. But, yeah, lo look at that, um, the, the bigger ball. If you drop the bigger ball, yeah, and a pen, if you drop both to the ground at the same time, what happens? I would say the pen might actually break. No, just drop them to the ground. Stand upright and drop them to the ground. Yeah, both of them. Like, hold them like this. Yeah, drop them now. What happened? When they fall, do they hit the ground at the same time or different times? Actually, similar times. Yeah. So, even though they weigh differently, right? Because they are both acting due to gravity. So, that was what we are going to cover. But we'll, we'll do that here. Yeah, but do, if, do the feather and uh, the ball. Yeah? But what happened? Well, that's a while. The feather was like... Don't sick in the air. Yeah, do, do you know why? Because it's lighter. Yes, and also because air resistance. Oh, air resistance. Yeah, the feather is affected by air molecules moving around. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, now I remember. We have, we, have done, we have done something about um, different forces and, use, and using different things like air resistance. Yeah, friction. Um, or frost. Yeah, friction, water resistance. Yeah, water resistance and up thrust. Yeah. Did it same station. Oh, okay. So I think we'll leave it here and then tomorrow, well, next time we'll start on Newton's third law and talk about okay. it again and look a bit more and then write a definition for it. Yes, Joe. Um, lad, yes. I have a quick question. Yes. Are we going to do these um, science lessons starting from Tuesday and then ending at Friday? I don't know, it's up to you. What, what were your thoughts? Um, I was thinking that we could do it... If it was Thursday, I would say we could do it every other day apart from Monday. Okay, so so which days do you want to do it then? So I would want I want to do it um when Tuesday yeah Tuesday mm -hmm. Friday mm -hmm. and Wednesday. Oh, so Tuesday, Wednesday, and Fridays. Yes, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. But skipping Mondays and Thursdays. Yes. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, we can do that. So then tomorrow, that would be good because today's lesson was a bit of a recap. So then tomorrow we'll start at Newton's third law of motion and then yeah. build on that. Yeah. And then look at everything else. Please, could you have Ublex tomorrow? Okay, let, let me stop the recording, then we can have a quick chat. Then I can do my job.